Top 7 Weirdest Vending Machines What's up guys, Mr. Top 7's here, coming at you with a brand new video. If you haven't already, make sure to click the subscribe button below as I'm giving away 4 $25 Amazon gift cards starting today. Winners will be announced Friday, November 25th. The only way to be entered is if you're subscribed, so don't miss out. Also, help us break over 5,000 likes on this video and we'll cover even more crazy vending machines. With that said, let's get started. People everywhere have long enjoyed the convenience of vending machines, whether to grab a refreshing soda or a midday snack. These pay and select devices are pretty cut and dry. However, what happens when the products inside start thinking outside the box? Today, let's take a look at seven of the weirdest vending machines. Number seven, pizza. Referred to as a pizza ATM, this contraption is one of those ideas that pretty much everyone says, why didn't I think of that? Invented by a French company, this ridiculous but brilliant idea has actually been around in France for over 14 years already. Stocked with enough supplies for about 70 pizzas at a time, in an internal convection oven, it serves up 12 inch pies 24 hours a day, customized to order. After the user selects the toppings they'd like on a touch screen and hits a button, the machine gets to work. Preparing, cooking, and delivering the order, complete with a pizza box in only three minutes. In August 2016, it officially made its US debut at Ohio Xavier University. And here it comes, it's all bubbling up now. I want more cheese, can you ask it to give me more cheese? More cheese, please. Number six, live crabs. Maybe you're not in the mood for pizza and happen to be in China. No problem, just walk down to the local corner and hit up the old crab machine for a delicious live seafood treat. Stocked with live hairy crabs, customers can select the specific one they'd like to eat the guts from the same way you can grab a bag of chips. The machine maintains a special temperature that basically keeps the crabs in a waking coma and trapped inside a container that shackles their movement. First appearing in Hangzhou, China, it sells these hairy tendril critters for around 20 RMB or about $3 and some change, complete with some crab vinegar and two bags of ginger tea. Number 5. Caviar while we're on the subject of seafood, let's take a trip to the other hemisphere, specifically three different Los Angeles malls. Invented by Kelly Stern, a co-owner of Beverly Hills Caviar, a gourmet Californian food supplier, she purchased parts from seven different countries to manufacture the perfect device that could keep the caviar cold, be touchscreen enabled, be able to connect to the internet, and look inviting and attractive to passerbys. Costing about $85,000 each, they stock 50 grand's worth of merchandise inside and sell items that start at $5 and top off around $500 for an ounce of their premium caviar. See, people are insane all over the world. Number 4. Bananas You heard that right, one giant machine packed to the brim with bright yellow fruit. You might think it's kind of a dumb idea, but you certainly can't argue with the sales numbers. First introduced by Dole in 2010, a test machine was installed inside of a Tokyo train station and became a huge hit with morning commuters looking to grab a bite to eat on the way to work. It's a silly looking unit, rows and rows of bagged bananas just waiting to drop and probably bruise into the retrieval chamber below, but people go, well, bananas over it. Recently, an Australian company followed suit, installing their own versions all over train stations marketed as smart bananas. Number 3. Holy Water don't expect to find this one at your local church. We're going way back to the first century for this one. Touted as one of the world's oldest vending inventions ever, the same guy who invented syringes in an archaic version of the modern steam engine came up with a way to meter out a specific amount of blessed water into a container after the user inserted some coins. Similar to flushing a toilet, the unit was designed to deter people from taking more holy water than they actually paid for, an actual problem faced by civilization back then. Hey, things were a little bit different. Number 2. Recycled Art Clark Whittington, the artist and creator behind the Artomat, had a novel idea. Take unused and, let's face it, largely abandoned cigarette vending machines, whip up a bunch of cool paintings, and sell those instead. Mounted on small wood blocks, he began selling his art for $1 a piece in these retro steel containers back in 1997 for a solo art show. However, when the machine ran dry of paintings and was scheduled to be removed, the cafe owner insisted it be refilled and carried on. Thus began a 20 year run and multiple other artomats that have been dispensing not food, but pretty clever creativity. 
Number 1. Used Underwear Let's face it, most of you probably knew this one was coming the moment you read Weirdest Vending Machines. We don't blame you. Today's number one is just as baffling as it is insane. Long treated as part truth, part urban legend, vending machines that sell women's panties do exist in Japan, who coincidentally have the highest ratio of vending machines to landmass. Although most of these weird devices dispense factory fresh underwear that's simply artificially scented and printed to mimic a used pair, certain seedier devices distribute legit legitimately soiled underoos for the price equivalent to a combo meal. Although those remain illegal for obvious reasons, it doesn't stop them from popping up just long enough to blast through their inventory. Thanks for watching Interesting Top 7s. Which of these was your favorite? Drop me a comment below. Also, make sure to subscribe for new videos every week. This is Mr. Top 7s, and I'll see you in the next video.